morning guys it is now saturday 2 30 a.m and i am about to head over to huntsville alabama for the flip car show it's gonna be a two days car show saturday and sunday it's about a three hour drive for me i currently have an eastern time zone and they have a central time zone so i will gain an hour when i arrive there so <clears throat> this weekend it was very messy i actually just booked my hotel and my table for this car show literally last minute like about five hours ago i was thinking about going to the midwest monster in indiana or going to two smaller shows in north carolina one in salisbury and one in uh, winston salem uh, winston salem north carolina i apologize if i butchered those pronunciations but yeah i had a um, I was about to meet somebody in North Carolina to drop off a whole bunch of cars for them, but apparently they were in California. So uh, that messed up my plan. And, you know, I didn't really want to go to North Carolina shows. I just didn't like driving from where I live to North Carolina. You have to go up to the mountains and it's like really crazy drive. And I don't know, the shows there are hit and miss sometimes. So it was a little bit too late to go to Midwest Monster because it was a Friday and it was a Saturday show. So then I just looked up Huntsville, Alabama, the flip car show. I've been to there once. I didn't set up. I was walking around. I did okay, but uh, I know it's a bigger Pokemon car show. So that's what I decided to do, go in there and do hopefully get some more Pokemon cars. Of course, I'm going to have half sports, half Pokemon as well, but... I'm looking to buy some Pokemon cards, so I guess that might be okay for me. So we're about to get ready, head over there. We're setting up this weekend, and apparently they have a train night, so we'll see how that goes. But I'll probably be too tired, so I'll see you guys when I see you guys. What's going on, guys? We made it here to Huntsville for the flip car show. It's about 9.30ish right now, central time, so... Made it here just in time for vendor setup. I thought I was gonna be late, but I'm not the last person here, so that's good. I think the show starts like let people in at like 12 o'clock, and it's gonna be till six tonight. And I believe they have a train night from six to ten as well at a hotel, but apparently it's not for the public. You have to have a wristband or be a guest at the hotel to go. So. I don't know. I don't really want to go to a train night full of vendors, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, let's go take a look around here before we really set up everything. I got my table set up with like all the, all the cases and stuff, but we're gonna wait a little bit. So this is the unloading area back there, park. We got Divine Cards here. Carter, what's up, bro? He joined the dark side. Pokemon here. Dude, that, uh, that gun comes in clutch, man. I know. You're actually the reason why I started bringing a gun to, uh, a price gun to car shows. It's definitely worth it. So this is like uh, pretty heavy on wrestling and Pokemon. And you know, like trading car show but a little bit of sport cars doesn't hurt as well not the biggest show probably like 200 table ish but it's it's cool it's a two-day show so oh cool it looks like i guess they're letting the vip and stuff in already that's neat i guess we go and get the rest of our inventory and set up first pick of the day got this is a prism 9 zion prism green 10 and this cool stained glass zeke wonder what team he's going to hopefully he'll see another team crazy hair but uh yeah so it's about like 11 now and i still haven't set up yet i put all the uh cases and stuff out but 
I've just been walking around trying to buy from vendors and stuff real fast, but I just picked up a whole bunch of shoe products here for pretty good deals. So I'll let you guys look at this guy having these bags. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I got some Pokemon ETBs. Uh, got a whole bunch of Pokemon packs here. And down here I got some uh, Prism packs. Also, I got more Pokemon packs here. Got some of these Mega Bowman Platinums 2022. Pretty cool. And got these blasters. So I got these for 20 bucks each. Good deal. Got these for 45. Pretty cool. And these I'm getting, I got these for like five bucks each. Uh, these are a little bit pricier because they're like more packs, but three packs for seven bucks, not too bad. And these ETBs I got for 20. So pretty cool, it said 25 on it, but I got it for 20. Yeah, pretty good so far. It's been pretty nice so far. I got my case filled up, made some deals already. Uh, forgot to video it because I had multiple people coming by, but yeah, this shit was picking up a lot. Just a quick look at the show, just picking up a little bit. They got the lights on earlier, both just the lights were off, so it was like pitch black dark here, but I had to work again, so I am glad. So I got the case full of Pokemon cards. Pokemon's been doing pretty good today. Got a small case of sport cards, and this are like the lower end stuff. And vintage, which are pretty cool. But yeah, that's my setup for this week. Uh, I came in clutch. I always have a blanket in my car, you know, just in case I get cold or I want to take a nap somewhere. And didn't have a table cover, so I started using it as a little cover. So that came in clutch a little bit. All right, guys. So pro tip: when you go to car shows, bring a jacket because it's getting a little chilly in here. I brought a jacket, but I actually left it in my car. So darn it. It is like 85 degrees outside, but they got the AC cranked up in here. Uh, I think it's because it's not that many people in here. I mean, it's a good amount of people in here, but it's not like super full, you know? The more people that are in a room, it'll get warmer because of the body heat, but it's not that crowded, so it's getting a little chilly. Woo! So I might have to run outside and get my jacket. But pro tip guys, bring a long sleeve or a jacket, even if you don't wear it, you know, you can put it in your backpack or you can just wrap it around your, your waist or your neck or something like that. But it's good you have a jacket, you know. I mean, I guess if you walk around a show the whole time, you probably get warm up. But I'm sitting at the table and I'm getting chilly. So the biggest car we picked up today. Got this Trey Lance rookie legendary logo PSA 10. Out of 10. Pretty cool. It's the pop one right now, so they usually do pretty well with pop one, so let's see what we can do with this. I went to get some food at a local brewery down the road. Got here a Cuban sandwich with some freshly cut fries. If you want to see more of my food and travel videos, check out my other YouTube channel, Life with Kenny. Link is in the description. Check it out. Thanks. What's going on guys? It is Sunday now. It's a little slower than yesterday. It's about 1.30 now. Uh, not really expecting much today because it's Sunday and we are here in Alabama which is the southern Bible Belt so people got church people got family day so usually Sundays aren't the busiest as expected but I made one sale today so far so hopefully we can get some more deals done and the room looks really good it looks really bright and nice but finger crossed So this is a very, very strong Pokemon show. Sport cards are, of course, always pretty good at a sport card show, but Pokemon lately, the last couple of months, I've been noticing it's been doing pretty well at these card shows. It's probably because it's not a lot of competition. So, it's a little bit better for me, but 
I've been able to pick up some more inventory because uh, this case was all full yesterday and then it was empty. It was half empty and then I s slowly starting to fill it back up again. So when I set up a shows, I like buying. So I tried to get anybody to come by the table to sell me cars and I guess it's just too many competitions at a sport car show. It's a little bit harder to buy sport cards. The Pokemon cards, I've been buying a good amount. It's great to buy and trade Pokemon cards at shows. But hopefully I can fill this case up because you can see it's pretty empty. Looks like it's fill it up by the end of the day, but. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So they're having a little auction here during a car show, which is pretty interesting, right? You don't really see that. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like and comment down below. It will really help my channel grow. Also, if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at GMFIRED. Also, Check out my other YouTube channel if you want to see some food and lifestyle video. Link is in the description. It's Life with Kenny. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Fire out!